Hi, I'm Chris Ames. I'm Cliff Aronson. And we're going to be doing the single combat demonstration. I think it's time to blow this scene, get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. What we normally do is we don't permit head, groin, hand, or feet strikes. We allow torso and arm and leg strikes. One strike to the torso is a kill. <laughs> oh, fine. Stand there, Mr. Oh, Lee. Oh. Um, a strike to a limb disables it if it's a duel. A strike anywhere if it's a melee is an automatic kill, and you go back to the uh, queue. You wait to respawn into battle. My wrist is damaged. <laughs> we tend to limit the number of people in the field for melee to 25 at a time. And as people get killed off, go to the end of the line. Next person in the front of the line joins in. So, pretty simple. Hello again, it's us. Um, we're here to talk to you a little bit about our equipment and a group known as Darkon, which is, it's a generalization of a lot of different boffer organizations. Um, in our local area, we have the BFFA, Boise Foam Fighting Association. Uh, they fight with foam. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, foams, foam axes, foam swords, foam shields. Uh, there's a whole different other uh, plethora of weapons out there. They uh, use, they have uh, daggers. They actually have ways to use bow and arrow. Yeah. They also have uh, flails. Yeah. Which are the only weapon that you can legally strike someone in the head with, due to them being so much softer. Ground her back of the head. But um, <clears throat> something, something about foam fighting that people might not under, might not know is, it's not pure foam. It has to have some sort of rigid, rigidity. We use PVC. Typically, you have three-quarter inch Schedule 80 PVC, uh, which you can get at 10, length, 10 foot lengths at any hardware store, Home oh. Depot, Lowe's. What uh, Ames and I used to make our weapons is we actually use the uh, closed cell foam. It's a little bit more durable than the open cell. But not quite so uh, cushy. Right. So people that are serious about the foam fighting, you have a trade-off between comfort of being hit and having a durable weapon. I'd rather have a durable weapon where I don't have to build a new one every other week. Yeah. I mean... Now, there, there's multiple types of swords that you can... swords and weapons that you can have in uh, what we know as Darkon. 
they, they have what, different colors to determine different types of damage. This sword here, what uh, most people would think of as a long sword, is typically considered a black weapon, which a single hit will kill you. If he's got two hands on the hand. That is, if I have two hands. This is a specifically made to where it's a white weapon with one hand, a black weapon with two. That way I can either wound or kill you. It's, ver it's a versatile weapon. It's evenly balanced right below the hilt, uh, which is right here. And that way I have very fine control. Now there's also the yellow weapons, which a flail or a mace would fall under those con those categories. They're, they're the crushy ouchy weapons. They again, they will crush you. They uh, just they will immobilize you. Now with the yellow weapon, I could hit him, if I hit him in the arm once, it's immobilized. If I hit him in, again, it does nothing. He can keep hitting and hitting. He'd have to hit me in the chest. All it does is turn his meat and his arm into well further hamburger. Pulp. Now there's also the red weapons. Those are the piercing. Any armor that you wear, aside from pro from plate armor, can be pierced by a red weapon, which would be a dagger, a spear, a javelin, or an arrow. Those are your common piercing weapons. Some people put a piercing tip on the front of their swords as well. That, uh, that necessitates further padding. Uh, White weapons, such as what I'm using, or even the axe here, um, is basically a wounding weapon, typically one-handed or as determined by class. If a mage were to use... <laughs> demonstration is brought to you by the good people at Fandemonium.org. Darkon for Fandemonium. Come on out next August. See you there. <laughs>